Hey guys, Adam here, and welcome to yet another Movie Edit Pro tutorial. Now, some of you out there have been questioning, Hey Adam, how do you do voiceovers on Movie Edit Pro? Or, how do you do that voice for Mr. Airsoft Ponage? Well guys, let me show you how I do this. You're gonna love it, because it's very freaking easy. First thing we gotta do, get a copy of Movie Edit Pro going. So, I'm gonna slide down to the bottom and you'll see it behind me. Next we need to grab our footage, which is important. I'm going to use the same footage that I've been using all this time. Me on a green screen, if it'll load. Oh geez, give it time. Till then, I'm going to drink some more of the beer that I have from Halloween. Check it out, not sure if you can see that. It's cold certified, mountains are blue. Luckily it's Coors, because you can't get drunk on Coors. Write that down. <sighs> Chris can't even burp on Coors. Okay, so now we got our footage. I'm going to display the waveform. This might take a week. Alright, so you guys remember how it sounded like this, right? Okay, so this is the video to demonstrate the art of jump cutting. Now, let's say you want to sound like Mr. Airsoft Ponage. Let me tell you, this is why it's so easy. You go over here to this little handle on the audio track, you click it, and it brings up a whole bunch of options. The other option is, is you can just right click on the audio track, and it brings it up as well. Then you go up here to Time Stretch slash Resample. This is where the fun begins. It brings up this right here, Pitch Control and the Tempo Control. Tempo is your speed, pitch is your depth to high, you know? So if you want to sound like Fred from that annoying YouTube, crank up the pitch. Okay, so this is a video to demonstrate the art of jump cutting. Jump cutting can be used to remove pauses from a video. Videos... You get the gist of it. And if you crank it down, about 2.5, that's the magic number for Mr. Airsoft Ponage. Okay, so this is a video to demonstrate the art of jump cutting. Jump cutting can be used to remove pause. So you get the gist of it of how I do that. Now, let's say we don't want to do any of that. So that right there will get you started on modifying your voice. Now, if you want to speed up your voice, you got to watch it. Because if you start adjusting the tempo here, watch the waveform for the tempo. See how it kind of changes, but not the video? So you basically want to leave that alone at 120 beats per minute. Mess with the pitch is fine, but if you want to mess with the tempo, your best bet for that is to, we'll close this, go up to effects, choose video effects, and go down here to speed, choose a video, and from here you can either slow the video right down, once again, sorry for the latency guys, slow computer. So that makes the video now half its size, or you can speed it right up and make it twice as small or twice as fast. And what you end up with. You see? So that speeds up the tempo and it also speeds up uh, the video. But if you just speed up the tempo without speeding up the video, your audio will be out of sync and your audio will run out before your video does and it's kind of stupid. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to mess with the tempo. Unless you're editing a sound effect, which you've seen me do on my Tim Horton videos. Yes, the farts from Garrett are fake. I dubbed those in, whatevs, but yeah. Now the other question somebody asked me was, hey Adam, how can I record a track if I'm already going with this? To record a track on the screen, you'll see where I got the mouse right now, audio and video recording. If you click on that, you get this screen. You choose audio, and then it'll ask you, where do you want to record from? So because I'm already using the desktop microphone, we will choose the microphone high def, which I believe is the one on, on the computer I'm using. And we can save it to the directory. You can choose your quality. All you do is hit record, and go blah 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 blah. Okay, yes, keep that take. And there is our voiceover. So if we hit play on that, there you go just that simple same thing with the voiceover right click go to time stretch and from here if you want to mess around with the tempo you can by all means go ahead uh, you can lower and create and crank the pitch and change the sound that you want it's basically whatever you want to do with it do it so that's basically my tutorial on modifying your sound, modifying your voice, and doing voiceovers. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns on this, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. I'll be sure to answer them. And um, yeah, guys, take care.